Hi everybody, this is Candace with Stamping Pearls and today's project is a Valentine's Day card that I am making for um, the Cricut Cards Challenge. Um, you can head over to that blog, it's cricutcardschallenge.blogspot.com where we have weekly challenges um, to provide inspiration for using your Cricut machine. And today's project, for today, well, I'm sorry, for today's challenge we had to make a Valentine's Day card using the colors green, blue, and white. What a challenge, I must say. But I actually, while at work, I, I found, I took my, some of my um, my Cricut um, manuals with me and I actually came up with a really great project. And so for this project, I am using Wild Card and I, I left my... Um, my handbook in my um, bag is in my bedroom right now but I'm using I think it's this flower if you can see this flower image right here and I'm just using the grass though it's actually the icon um, button and it's um, grass and I'm also using the Cricut Imagine and for the Cricut in with in on the Cricut Imagine, what I did was I cut out this frog, and then and that's on page ten of the um, Imagine More cards. And I also cut out this square on page twenty one. And also for this project, I am using Pink by Design. And I, oh, that's that. I just had it. <laughs> had that one. Um, Be mine. Um, stamp set. And I am going to use the pucker up. And I must say, I love Sarah's um Sarah stamp. She has some great stamps. I only have five. She has a whole lot of them. She just released sixteen, and I believe she has. It, it's over twenty, maybe over thirty. Is it was actually definitely over twenty, so I want to say uh, maybe a good like thirty two stamp sets plus her stamp of the month, and I have five more coming to my five or six more coming to my house, and should be here by Thursday. But you can head over to her blog and her store and give them a try. It's very nice quality stamps. So, for this card, I'm making a standard A2 card. And I can't find my regular bone folder. Oh, here we go. Okay. And so, my card base is going to be white. And this is just some um, regular white cardstock, card stock, Georgia Pacific. Georgia, Georgia, I can never say Pacific. Georgia Pacific cardstock from um, Walmart. Okay. And so I already pre-cut my layer. I just want to make sure that it's going to fit. Because sizing is a little bit more difficult trying to get the right size when you're using your Imagine versus when you're using your Gypsy. Okay, I believe that's going to fit. And so I'm just going to adhere this down with some um, ATG. Oh, and I, I wrote on the back of this. This is when you, um, once you um, cut out your image, I think I did it to the max that it will let me do. And then I just bought it to my mat to size it in a size at 5 and 3 eighths by 4. I love you. I love you too. Okay. So let's just let's this down. 
No, not yet. No. It's going to make me. Okay, let's see if we can hopefully cover this up. Okay. So it's just only a hint of white that I am using for this project. And so next what I have, I have my frog. And what I did with the grass, I um I cut it out twice and I actually um on the um imagine this was like the first time me using a regular cricket cartridge on the imagine because in the past years I have I've had problems making um some cuts. So what I did was I cut it twice and on one of them I actually flipped it and then I'm going to um pop it up on some dimensionals. I just want to make sure that I'm gonna have this layered how I want it. Okay, I think it is. This was with my AVG gun today. Okay. I'm about to make sure. I just want to make sure that this is going to go down exactly where I want it to go. Okay, so now we're going to take these off. I'm just going to add on some more dimensionals. Okay. So instead of making you watch me do this, I'm just going to take these off, go get my ink that I need, cut on Wild Wild Wesby, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I went ahead and adhered my grass um, to my cart, and I just want to know, just in case you're looking at this, like, what is this on top of her cart? This is the actual image from the Cricut, Im from the Cricut Imagine, Imagine More card, so it's supposed to be that way. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp using Stampin' Up's um, Basic Black. I'm sorry, I just really love, this is the Be Mine stamp set as I stated earlier. I really love her stamp. And I figured the Pucker Up stand was a perfect um, image to use, I mean, um, sentiment to use. I just want to make sure this is on here straight. Okay. So, I'm going to ink up my stamp. Okay. Make sure. Oh, I'm glad I caught that. So then, ah, perfect. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I love this stamp. It's so perfect. And then I have Pucker Up. And this is my finished product. So I hope everybody enjoys and join us over at Cricket Cards Challenge um, for this week's Valentine's Day Challenge. Bye.